God, my recording. Okay, I'm recording. So, um, I want to make this abundantly clear about what we are debating, right? Because you had just said in the past it was just you just said full power, right? Full power, Madara. Can somebody give me um what the fuck? I don't have permission to post, and it, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll just post all scans and semi-formal debates. What moderator are you talking about? Like, what point in time, moderator? The moderator that faced it, uh, Naruto and Sasuke. Okay, the a lot Renegon. of different moderators. Okay, two Rinnegan? Yeah. Okay, w which two Rinnegan? Like, the one that it, um... The one that absorbed everyone across the world? Or, like, the one who had eaten the god tree and taken the second Rinnegan? Or are you talking about three Rinnegan? Yeah. Okay, so you're talking about two running on Madara. Yeah, bef before he even... Like, the Madara that flipped there and... Uh, activate the uh, Infinite Tsukuyomi. So, Third Eye Madara. <laughs> Alright, so Infinite Tsukuyomi Madara. Before you did that. Whenever he was fighting Naruto and Sasuke. So, does he or does he not have his third eye? No. Okay. Okay, two running on. I'm just typing this out so we make it abundantly clear. <clears throat> All right. So, um, so what? It, uh, let's go for opening statements, right? The debate is this two running on Madara, the one who fights Naruto and Sasuke but doesn't have his third eye yet, versus um, versus the likes of Jigen, right? So, um, what's your starting point? What, what do you get, think gives Modder the edge? Give me your opening statement. Okay, my premise here is Jigen. Jigen can't sit there and see Limbo Clone, nor does he have any type of uh, ways to counter it. And his Black Chakra Oz won't affect Modder. Because okay. Modder. So let's take these one at a time. Jigen can't counter limbo. Chakra absorbing rods. Right. Won't affect Madara. Um So let's Let's start with Jigen can't see limbo, right? <clears throat> what reason do you have for making that claim? Let's just start there. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Um, Actually, Jigen I'll, doesn't have... I'll just say why Jigen should be able to see them, right? So you agree that those with six past sensory capabilities can see Limbo clones, correct? You mean six past uh, Chakra? Mm, I, I, yeah, six past sensory capabilities. Those which come with six past Sage Mode, yes. Uh, yeah, uh... Naruto doesn't have, I mean, Jigen doesn't have that. Naruto okay. does. So, do you agree that Six Path Sage Mode comes from having the chakra of um, of the Jubi? Uh, no. Okay. The full power, the full power ten tails. It does. Uh, okay. Why would it be the full power ten tails? Because that's exactly what Sasuke and Naruto had from Agaroma. <laughs> so, you're saying that because blank... Okay, I'm sorry. Your argument is the idea that due to the fact that Naruto has the power of the full ten tails, that he then has six past sage mode. You're aware that the Hagoromo that gave Naruto and Sasuke their power was not the Jinchuriki of the ten tails, correct? He had already let the ten tails out of his body and split it into the nine tailed beasts. And yet he continued to have six path sage mode. Can you prove that? Can I prove that Hagoromo like split up the tailed beasts? No, that that's not the same uh Hagoromo. Cause this Hagoromo is, to my knowledge, like a an astral being. Hagoromo of the past. Why? <laughs> Can you please prove that? That the Hagoromo that we see is the Hagoromo of the past.
Yeah, he's uh he said and told Naruto and Sasuke that uh he's been going throughout time. Okay. You know, it, it it's stated, right? Um that a certain set of conditions had to be made for him to be able to see Naruto and Sasuke, right? But this is just, you know, I, I'll just, I'll I'll grant you this point. What what was the exact point? Um, the claim that we were debating on, because I really don't care. Um, Gene can't see Lumba clones. Sure, he can't see them. Um, I'll just that's fine. So I'll I'll even say he can't counter Limbo right now. I'll just grant these points temporarily, right? I'll even say that the chakra absorbing rods won't affect Madara. Jigen absolutely speed blitzes with no chance for Madara to ever react to him, right? And I'll just use this line of scaling, right? So are are you of the opinion that Naruto and Sasuke lost their six pass forms or something? No, they still haven't. Okay. So are you of the opinion that Naruto and Sasuke got demonstrably weaker then? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can prove that to not be the case, right? Because we have Sakura, right? Let's start with Sakura. Because Sakura does not get demonstrably weaker. We actually see she continues to get stronger, right? So, what happens with Sakura is... Sakura has the ability to, like, um... To catch Kaguya off guard. Even though Kaguya has, um... Has the ability to react to Naruto and Sasuke, right? Sakura is able to, like, hit her smack dab in the back of the head. Um... And has, like, a significant feat there, right? But Sakura even, um... Like, this same Sakura, this Sakura who should even be um, potentially stronger due to the fact that she has more years of 100 healings chakra saved up, is still only on par with some, or is still only able to take on fighters who are, like, relative to a fatigued Sasuke. So, there'd be no reason to believe that um, fucking Naruto and Sasuke get any weaker. In fact, they would get demonstrably stronger, right? Even at this, like, shred of their, um, of their current power, they're still far above people that are, um, that are relative to or above Kaguya. So I, I don't know what reason you would have so, to believe that. So you're saying that Sakura, because Sakura has been saving up her chakra for throughout the years yeah. after the war, that they're, that she is still on par with Naruto and Sasuke. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm saying that due to the fact that Sakura's current position or position during the war arc in her strength, right? was due to the fact that she had precise chakra control and a large chakra amount to draw from, right? So in her base form, without the Byakugo seal open, she is still able to react to attacks from and then combat Kaguya, right? Sakura, with more chakra to draw from in her forehead because she's been saving it for longer, right? Um, she'd been saving her chakra during the work for about two years, the last time she had any need for her chakra was, um, I think she was around 19 or 20 after the last, which was, um, um, the light novel in which she fights, uh, Kido, but, um, she would have more chakra to draw from and is still only on par with, um, the level of like fatigued Sasuke. Okay. Where is you, where are you getting that at? Okay. So, you know, Shin, you know who Shin Uchiha is, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, in Naruto chapter 706, to be exact, um, it is Naruto Gaiden, not um, regular Naruto, which is why there is a continuation of numbers, but um, either either way. Basically, Shin Uchiha is able to fight on par with um, with a Sasuke who had just gotten back from like traveling out um, through Kaguya's dimension. And he states directly that uh, traveling through Kaguya's dimension takes an immense amount of um, chakra, right? And it even, like, rips the Tomoe out of his eyes. It's just a substantial amount of chakra that it, that it drains out of him. Um, and, and yet, this fatigued Sasuke is still on par with Shin Uchiha, who is, like, um, relative to that of Sakura Uchiha. Hold on, say that again? I, I kind of lost you whenever you said... Uh... Whenever you said Shin and Sakura? Shin and Sakura are relative. Shin is also relative to like this um this substantially weakened Sasuke, this fatigued Sasuke. Therefore, so Sakura, who has stayed constant or gotten um stronger throughout the years, would just be a scaling mechanism with which I could say that Sasuke and Naruto um are like even greater, if not relative to their for former glory.
Okay, what I'm not understanding is like just because Sakura has saved up her chakra does not mean that Sasuke and Naruto are still as strong as they were before. Uh, I literally just said, okay, okay. So I'm using Sakura as a constant, right? We have no reason for Sakura to be of any different strength. If anything, she would continue to grow, right? So therefore, using Sakura as a constant, we can say Sakura over, or Sakura is equal to or relative to Kaguya, right? Equal to, maybe above, maybe a little bit below, doesn't matter. They're relative, right? That same, or a, a relative, if not stronger Sakura, is relative to Shin Uchiha, right? That Shin Uchiha is relative to a heavily fatigued and drained Sasuke. So a full power Sasuke would scale significantly above that Shin Uchiha. I, I don't see what's not to be understood. Okay, so where does this, where does Naruto come into all okay, this? Okay, so, so do you agree with all of, all of these things that have been set forth? Uh, that I, Sasuke I, is more powerful than Shin? Okay, yes. That you're and, to? and that Sakura has yes. stayed relative to herself. And that that same Sakura is relative to Kaguya. You agree with all the, like, all the premises there within? Okay, so you're ba so you're basing that Sakura is relative to Kaguya because she hit Kaguya, correct? Sakura is able to keep up with Kaguya's attacks, right? Uh, um, and Sakura was also able to attack a Kaguya, right? Who had the ability to have some sort of sensory capabilities, right? Or she had some sort of passive sensory capabilities. Um, okay, so... Hmm? Okay, but she's she was also focused on uh, Naruto and Sasuke so the entire who? time. She actually had completely cleared Naruto and Sasuke, and was out of danger from them touching her whatsoever. Okay, can you show me where? Yeah, I will. Sakura and and uh, Kaguya like just fought one on one. That's not or what I said happened in, in any type, or like even. All right, can you show me where Sakura? Hit Kaguya without focusing on Naruto and Sasuke. Or so Kaguya Naruto and Sasuke is not, not focusing on Naruto and Sasuke. She, okay, I will show you this again. All right. So you're familiar with the series of Naruto, correct? You know Kishimoto likes to use these exclamation points is, um, is the idea of one character is becoming aware of something happening in their surroundings, right? Sakura repels off of, so or off of Kakashi's um, dissipating Susano. As you can see in the scan earlier... Kaguya has already cleared the likes of Naruto and Sasuke, right? She's understanding of what is happening. Sakura comes down. Kaguya, even though she has sensory capabilities, is not aware of Sakura's presence, right? So it is either that Sakura has speed blitzed Kaguya's sensory capabilities, or you would have to find some sort of contradiction for this to be an outlier or plot induced stupidity, right? So what I'm saying is that Sakura is faster than Kaguya's sensory capabilities. Focused on Naruto and Sasuke, she just no, avoided them. No, she has already avoided them, so there's no reason for her focus to be there. I she's don't know why you continue to make that claim. She's looking right at Naruto and Sasuke. Yes, okay, trying you to understand that she has 359 degrees of vision and sensory capabilities that are a passive aura. <laughs> I don't know why focus, like physically looking at something, would therefore condense what she can do. Because her attention, her attention is fully Prove on Naruto that. and Sasuke. Prove that. She's looking right at them. She just avoided Okay, his what does back. that mean her intent is fully on them? Whenever she has the ability to see 359 degrees and has a passive sensory aura, why would her intent, her, her looking a certain uh, direction, mean that her intent is entirely on that one thing? Answer that question. Because she's avoiding their attack. Okay. She's not... It's not like she's she's aware of even Sakura even being around. Okay, I, I've proven that there is no reason for her to not be aware that Sakura is around, right? Because she has her, like, Sage Mode sensory capabilities, right? Or her Six Path Sage Mode, it wouldn't matter. But she has the ability to, like, 
feel nature energy in a passive aura surrounding her and feel disturbances in chakra, right? So Sakura jumps off of the Susano and is coming down at her and she should be able to recognize that. And in fact, the exclamation point would give credence to the idea that she has sensed Sakura, but therefore cannot react to Sakura. So she just gets caught by this. It wouldn't matter that Naruto and Sasuke are under her whatsoever. Okay, but her guard is not... Prove is not even Prove her guards down. Because she's avoiding Naruto and Sasuke. What, if anything, that would mean her guard is up. She's avoiding How? two deadly fighters. Her guard would be up. In she fact, just avoid In fact, Naruto and Sasuke just use a transformation... Or a sub yeah, transformation jutsu in order to deceive her. So there would be much reason for her to be, like, making sure that everything around her is okay. Sakura is just faster than she can sense. <laughs> Hello? Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you that point. Okay. I'll give you that point. So Here's what we have then. We have Kaguya under Sakura. I I'm going to lay this out so it'll be easy. Kaguya less than Sakura. Kaguya right. less than Sakura? Yeah, I, I literally said Kaguya couldn't react to Sakura. Yes. So, so you're saying that Sakura is stronger than Kaguya? No, I said Kaguya couldn't react to Sakura. And you just lost to that premise, so... So, we have Kaguya is less than S1, who would be equal to, if not weaker than, S2. S1 and S2 being the soccer that fought Kaguya versus the soccer that fights Shin, right? So, we're saying S2 is the soccer that fights Shin, who would be equal to or greater than. And then, we go forward and we have SA, or we have another S, SH, um, who would be relative. So, I'm going to put equal to. S2, and then we have a greater than for FPS, which is full power Sasuke. So full power Sasuke is leagues beyond Kaguya, right? So therefore, I'm going to say that Jigen has the ability to fight full power Naruto and Sasuke. So he would just speed blitz the fuck out of Madara. You put, you were able to, you just where is where is Naruto coming into this? That's what I'm not understanding. I'm not using Naruto. Why is Naruto? You just said Naruto, Naruto and Sasuke are. Yeah, he is able to fight Naruto and Sasuke at once. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. And if you want, I can add like um, Shin is relative to or greater than full power Naruto in there. But it really wouldn't matter. Okay, but you do know that that Madara keeps the limbo surrounding him. Okay, which he would get speed even, blitz before which, he activates limbo. Limbo's already activated. Why is yeah, limbo is already no... activated? He literally has to activate and deactivate limbo. He cannot keep them out forever. Can you show me when he's up there and activated Limbo? When he's activated Limbo? All right. Actually, yes. you know what? I'll just fucking steel man the fuck out of you. I'll say Limbo is always active, right? Right? I, I will say Limbo is always active. He never has to take it down. He would not have time to put Limbo into a formation that would be advantageous for him. Because he would get speed blitzed immediately. They're surrounding him at all times. Okay. Uh, what does he do against chakra absorbing rods? He just gets stabbed. He take he, he takes them. you can't you can't get you can't get past them because limbo. So no, even all, if all Jigen, of the limbo Jigen clones Jigen, just get chakra rods through their stomach, right? Jigen just goes in for the kill immediately, and he catches a limbo clone in the process. He just stabs two he stabs two moderators at once. He just shish kebabs them. It doesn't fucking matter. And then Madara will be aware that Jigen 
is trying to attack him. Which no, he'll if he then goes evade. for the head, he's just done. It's just GG. He got speed blitzed, and now he's done. Okay, when Jigen tries to speed blitz him, he will then be... He will then face a limbo clone. That will have... He would stab both of them. That's what I'm saying, right? Right? Let's say this, right? Madara's limbo clones are completely and utterly invisible to Jigen. He can always have them out, right? Jigen moves faster than Madara can perceive. Faster than a neuron can fire in his head, right? It, It would just be, let's say there's like, there's one, one, um, fucking, what? He can have like four limbo clones, Right? Yeah, four Let's say there's Sorry. one in every cardinal direction, right? Jigen comes in and tries to skewer Modder through the head. He just caught two Limbo clones. Or he caught catches one Limbo clone through the head and Modder. It's still done. He still got speed blitz and he's still lost. Okay, how is he getting how is he shooting the Limbo clone and Modder at the same time? He just skewers them. Like, have you ever had a shish kebab? Yeah, he does that. Can you show me where the where Jigen has flipped in and skewed the uh the black chakra rods? Through someone? It's, it's yeah. Literally literally his primary fighting style is just skewering people with chakra rods. Let me show you. Yeah, and I'm saying that he Or actually, you know what? I'm I'll saying steal, that w- whenever no, he does I'll steal menu, he just BFRs. <laughs> he just opens up a portal to another dimension and just leaves Mario Another there. limbo clone another limbo clone will take his place. He's been able to switch places from the Limbo clones. Can you show me that? As I recall, Sasuke switched his place with the Limbo clone. So I'm going yeah, to you I'm gonna ask you to substantiate that. Yeah, let me go get it. And while you're at it, if you could please show me where he can do this between different dimensions, that'd also be great. Okay, so in the first panel, I mean the first scan, they, uh... Both double team him. And then the second one, you see that Honor literally switches place with his limbo, limbo clones. Okay, so you know what substitution is, correct? When he says substituted in his shadow, you understand what the substitution he's, is, Jutsu is, right, Void? He's talking about limbo. Okay, he says he substituted in his shadow. Do you understand what substitution Jutsu is? Yeah, I understand okay. what substitution The substitution is. jutsu is where they use body flicker and then grab something and put it in the place where they were. Kakashi does it in episode 3 against Naruto, right? He grabs a he grabs another Naruto clone and puts it in his place. Madara was just faster using body flicker than Naruto and Sasuke could sense. This is not him switching places, but rather using the substitution jutsu. Okay. You do know that with substitution jutsu, you have to sit there and weave signs, right? No, no, you and don't. Then, and, what the fuck? Okay. Can you substantiate then, that? Show you where... Yes, can you show me jutsu where substitution jutsu signs? is needed signs? Yes, please. Because I don't recall it needing to needing such. It's in the first episode. And actually, if so, where would, where in which would you see the hand signs? Where? <laughs> like his guards. In, in fact, now. in fact, I'll just I'll just say that the fact that Madara is just like flying away would therefore mean it's very likely that he was using his body flicker speed in order to cast the substitution jutsu, right? He just switches places with him. He switches places with who? With his with his fucking limbo clone. Exactly, that's what I said. Oh my god, I'm talking about in the context of the substitution jutsu. <sighs> Could you please like show me that? Can you show me this ability? Like, is there anything else where it's not stated he's substituting with it? Sasuke uses his again to even look, see that he replaced the uh, himself with Limbo. W- which scan is this? 
the second one? The second and first where, game. Where Sobske says he substituted in his shadow. Where he directly says that he substitu- okay. used substitution jutsu. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Do you, you do realize that in the way how it's colored, he, is Sasuke using his Rinnegan. He's not looking at it through... Okay, so what I'm hearing is Sasuke used his enhanced perception to be able to see the fact that someone substituted out, which would just be movement at high speeds. So Sasuke used an ability no, Sasuke that has been uses, predominantly shown... Sasuke uses perception okay. to see yes, the limbo. Sasuke uses his enhanced perception to perceive that somebody moved at a high speed and substituted out their sh- or their limbo clone. I see no problem. Oh, no. Okay. So he just uses his Rinnegan to see the Limbo clone. This does not in any way, like, say something. What? <laughs> Describing the panel in, said, in any further asked, detail you doesn't help to, you. Right? You I asked, asked you to, to demonstrate you. this ability at some other point in time where it's not contentious. Right? Because right now it's contentious due to the wording being that he substituted it in. He just used substitution jutsu. So I'm asking for some sort of evidence in which it is not contentious. I don't think that's a huge thing since you're trying to like claim this to be true. Because Sasuke, giving you is, re- Sasuke is using his Renegon. He's not yes, using He uses else. his Renegon to see the Limbo clone. If I'm saying he uses the substitution jutsu to substitute himself for the Limbo clone, Sasuke would still have to see a Limbo clone eventually. That is no and that is in no way evidence to give credence to your point. Hello? Do you have any refutation? You're going to concede the point. Oh, no, I'm going to show you the scan of uh, them using signs for uh, substitution. Okay. I'm getting it for you. Okay, so you would therein have to show me scans of people using the signs for body flicker regularly? Using the signs for body flicker as well? I mean... She should we does so, that. Yeah, the body flicker is a half tiger sign. That's fine. <laughs> Using half tiger, and it wouldn't even matter because we, from the angle at which we're shown, we wouldn't even be able to see these things, right? His hands, are, his hands were down. It, Madara's hands are down. Hands They're down. not even. At what point were his hands down? Whenever in the first one, whenever they, they're both attacking you, him on. You literally each side. can't see his hands. You see his shoulders, and that's about it. There's so many impact mark from the jutsu. There's so much impact from the jutsu that you can't see shit. I don't know why you'd say that his hands are down. You can't prove that. Hello? Hello? Am I lagging yeah, out or you, something? Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you now. <laughs> so, um, so, so here it is right here. I'm going to send in where before this before all this happens, Madara's hands are completely down. And then in the second panel, he okay. didn't realize that they're already up on him, attacking him. Okay, so you have a point in which let me look. You have a point in which Madara has a hand up, he is taking something out of his chest. And then we don't see him again for another, or until the next panel. 
So if anything, his left hand would be up, which is fine. Because he no, 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 be no, 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 no. Look, look, look right down there. On look the first right one. down where? On the first on the one bottom that you right. sent recently? On the bottom right? Yeah, the bottom right. Yeah, he's his taking hand, a fucking blade out of his chest. What are you on? Both of his hands are down. No, they're not. Okay, buddy, I want you to look at this void, right? So I want you to look at the middle right, right? He's taking Sasuke's fucking sword out of his chest, and then he continues to do so in the bottom right, right? So his hand, his left hand, is still up. So he could easily form the half tiger that would be needed to do body flicker, which is the only real necess like necessity for the substitution jutsu. So I'll maintain that Madara used substitution jutsu to put his fucking limbo clone there. <laughs> how is he going to, by your logic, how is he going to flip and use the hand, the tiger sign, whenever tiger, his hand is yes. on the sword? Okay, so, what the fuck? You know Sasuke uses half tiger with his hand on the sword, right? You know, half tiger is fireball, right? When Sasuke uses his left hand... Puts his thumb, yeah. puts his thumb, his fucking pinky finger, and the one close to that in, and two fingers up. Yeah, that's half tiger. <laughs> so it would be rather easy for him to do so with a sword in his hand. In fact, let me show you. Let me show you what half tiger looks like. Even on the man himself, Shisui Uchiha, right? All he's got to do is put two fingers up. Like, clutch the rest of his hand. Madara had already made a fist around the fucking, um, around the blade. He just had to put two fingers out, and he could be gone. So I maintain that Madara used body flicker to substitute out. Oh, I'm going to give it to you. Okay, so I win that point. <laughs> Thus, Madara just gets Whoa, BFR. Wait, we're, no, no, we're still on this point. You said I'm going to give it to you, right? So what I, I mean I will, is, I'm about, I will to, maintain... I'm about to show you. No, I'm about to show you where he his hands are down. Uh, in, in what? <laughs> uh, in the anime. Okay, so you're gonna use a non-canon source. Got it. A non canon source, the yeah. anime. Yeah, the manga is the canon. The anime is also the canon, unless it's filler. I mean, the anime just you're even you're even liberties. you're even using you're you're even using the anime as you're showing Sushi okay, using can, his hands. I, I can find a half tiger body flicker at anywhere. It was just something that the wiki had. I can go look for it if you want. It's fine. The problem is right using an extrapolation not therefore given in the manga would therefore be something that we would consider to be filler. Yeah. The anime is canon. Kishimoto has, has even said it. Okay, can you can you show me that? Please show me that the that entirety, said please that show me that the entirety that Kish... of the anime is canon. Yes. I did not say that. Okay. You said I said anything that's canon. not filler is canon. All right. I already said as to why further extrapolations that the original work does not have would be considered non-canon. Also, there's the same fucking tiger hand sign. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. I don't know why I can't go in and out. Okay, so from 17, from 741... He has his hands down. Even okay. right here, his hands are down. I, I already said as to why this would be non-canon. No, I wouldn't consider it. Okay, joke. Okay, can you explain again why the anime <clears throat> is not canon? Okay. So, what I said was, this is a further elaboration not provided to us by the primary source, right? So I would therefore say that it's non-canon. You said it's an elaboration 
Yeah, it's a Definitely further not. elaboration that is not a part of the primary source that you have no confirmation runs within the same timeline or is the same canon, right? So I'm going to consider it non-canon. How does it, how does it not run in the primary source when it's no, they're but, literally fighting in the okay. same scene? Oh my god! Let me explain something to you. The primary literature and the primary canon is the manga, right? comes first it is the source material with which the anime is based off of the anime has the ability to take liberties right in order to make what they deem to be a more entertaining story right i.e filler they do some dramatic effects they may elaborate exaggerate certain characters right which is why okay, so, the manga so is the primary canon right you can't prove something within the primary canon I even said why it wouldn't be so in the primary canon. So you turn to the secondary canon, right? And the secondary canon proves you right, which would just mean that your stance is non-canonically correct. Or secondarily canonically correct. That's fine. It still wouldn't hold in this debate. How 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 is him having his hands down I've explained showing for dramatic effects? It's not dramatic effect. <laughs> Alright. I've explained this to you three times now. This will be the last time, right? So, due to the fact that the anime is allowed to take liberties, right? They show things differently and in more exaggerated ways than the manga, right? You said for a dramatic effect. Yeah, no, I was just listing off different ways that the anime and the manga may differ. <laughs> I don't know why you're, like, nitpicking my words. Because okay. the way I you use I, I your word choices okay. are not, they don't. So as I've you're, said before, you're, right, you're just non-canonically correct, right? In the secondary canon, you're just correct. That's fine. It doesn't mean I have to in the take first, it for this In debate. the first canon, I'm correct. You've literally his admitted hands are down. the primary canon is the manga. The fuck? Yes. I've told you why his hands are not down in the manga. So I think we're done here. <laughs> And I've told you reasons why his hands are down. Right, then I that's, even that's fine. backed up further my claim. You have no reason with, as to why the anime should be with considered the, uh, canon, anime. Right? I've already won this point. You've conceded to the burden of rejoinder. You failed to give any meaningful refutation or to substantiate. I failed right? so to it would give be another concession. I, 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 use, I to used the manga. Right? And then I backed up my claim with even the anime. <laughs> no, you haven't. Right? And I've already explained why you've like conceded this point two times over, or this sub point, right? The idea that you've conceded to the burden of rejoinder, right? I've set forth why something would be so. You've given me no relevant argument as to why it is not. And then you concede due to failure to provide evidence because I keep asking you why we would consider this canon, even though I've set forth an argument as to why it shouldn't be. And you've given me nothing, right? So your you just, explanation, you've lost your the sub point is on illogical. two fronts. Your explanation is illogical. It doesn't you, make any sense. You've lost the sub point on two fronts. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so do you have any further argument? Or are you just going to keep saying what I'm saying is illogical, right? Because that's just a fallacious argument from absurdity, right? You're saying it doesn't follow without any reason for it to not follow. It doesn't follow. I gave you a reason why it doesn't follow. Which is? Which is there is no reason for them to sit there and make the anime. At, at this point of the scene, for dramatic effect, or for any other reason of that being. No, I, I literally said that they have liberties to handle things differently. And I've shown as to why Moderate, at that point in time, in the manga, should have his left hand forward. And would be able to perform body flicker jutsu in order to therefore perform substitution with his limbo clone. So I'll just continue to claim that in the primary canon, right? Because I'll even say that the two are contradictory because Madara has his hands down, right? When in the scene, we know that Madara should still have his left hand out outstretched is to take Sasuke's sword out of his chest, right? So I will say that the two contradict. The sword is and still thus, in his chest, though. Th thus, okay, seeing as the two contradict, I will therefore say that we should take the primary canon over the secondary, which would be the anime.
So I will continue to claim that Modder's hand should have been outstretched for him to be able to put out the tiger hand sign. Like, I, I don't know why you continue to state something. His, hands, his left hand his is showed, outstretched his in order to take the sword out. Yes. Tay, how long have you been listening? Because I'm really tired of this. He just got here. We all can move on because there's no actual judge, so no point in going to add no issue, you know? Well, I mean, if there's no actual judge, do we just debate both sides of the point? I don't want to do that shit. It's going to take forever. Uh, aren't you like, aren't y'all recording it, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, y'all should move on now because y'all been on this for too long. Okay. So it's just, yeah. Fuck. We've been on this sub point for 15 minutes. All right. I just got here. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. Um, so, therefore, right? Uh, actually, I'll just make an argument outside of this point, right? I, I will go back to the argument that Jigen has the ability to, like, um, to sense what he cannot properly see, right? So, I'll just use the fact that he has, like, chakra from the Juby, which has been shown to give some sort of sensory capabilities, right? Um, the fact that he has chakra from a Juby, I'll just therefore claim that he has the ability to um, be intact with six past sage bone, right? That's fine. Okay, but can you show me that? Can you prove that that same Juby is as powerful as? Why would it have to be like, as powerful to get have the same properties? You would have to prove that for more sharper to your for, question. for more sharper uh, sensory abilities. Hmm? Why would why would they be tied? Why would the ability in the the extent to which the ability goes be tied to how strong the Juby is? Hello? Oh, no, I can you say that again? I said, why would the ability, right, and how potent the ability is be tied to how strong the Juby is? Please answer that question. Okay, because the sensory abilities of Naruto, Madara, and Kaguya or not even not even that just even naruto himself are way sharper than than jigen's yeah, when you're okay so wait time out you're, you're claiming this to be true but have no evidence of such right so i'm gonna ask you for evidence to claim this crazy like this crazy point that you've set forward that doesn't even answer the question that i asked you right so you have two options here i'll either make you prove that naruto Kaguya and Madara all have better sensory capabilities than Jigen, right? You can either prove that or you can try and re-answer my question in a way that is in some way productive because yours was obviously going nowhere, right? So I'll ask the question again. Why does the strength of the Juby with which they have chakra from therefore dictate the potency or sharpness of their sensory capabilities? So which would you like to do? Would you like to like substantiate that bogus ass claim or would you like to answer my question hello yeah give me a minute i'm gonna find it <sighs> so how's everybody's day going it's a nice sunday afternoon i am just woke up How did you just wake up, my nigga? Like, I went and got drunk awful last sleep. night, and I was up before you. The fuck? <laughs> I have an awful sleeping pattern. <sighs> what is this debate? <clears throat> he decided to challenge me to two-eyed Madara versus Jigen. Oh, well, I don't know anything about the current Boruto manga, so I'll have no say in this. Thank you. I just mm. have no clue. I have no clue. Well, because, uh, like, I know about Ishiki a little bit, but I don't know much about Jigen. Ishiki is Jigen. Well, I know he's a vessel for Jigen. I mean, he's. I know he's a vessel for Ishiki, but can he use Ishiki's powers to the fullest extent? It doesn't matter. Or just like... Like, they're, they're just one under the same alias, right? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Or, I, I thought... They're okay. one under two aliases. Excuse me. 
some, oh, know okay. them, some know them as Jigen, some know them as Ishiki. Wait, like, where's the nigga here to be? Oh, okay. It's Void. He's right there north. Thanks for coming to help me. I needed somebody to talk to. He's getting evidence right now, and I'm bored. Oh, he's getting scans right now? That's yeah. so weird. I, I thought it was like, G, like Ishiki was like possessing his body or something from what I heard. No, Ishiki I thought... is possessing yeah, that is, his right? body. Um, oh, okay. But um, it's like some people call them Jigen. Some people call them, or they call themselves Ishiki from time to time. Or, I don't know if they called themselves Ishiki or somebody called them Ishiki. I'd assume they called themselves that because there'd be no reason for it. Doesn't else. even matter. As far as we know yeah. in the series, they're the same nigga currently. Yeah. Wait, two eyed Madara? Yeah, he chose two eyed Madara. Uh, did it? G give? Shh, didn't Ishiki? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Uh. <laughs> I'm not going to lose this debate on some bullshit because somebody said something from the audience. <laughs> this is a pretty funny topic. Yeah, it is a pretty funny topic. Not going to cap. Are you, are you Jigen? Are you, yeah, I'm, you using, Madara? I'm using Jigen slash Ishiki. So, okay. I just want to say whatever I was going to say wouldn't make you lose, I don't think. <laughs> But if it made me win, or like even helped me a tiny bit, yeah, I would end my life because I know I'd get DQ'd, and I'd rather not. Okay, Who's the judge? like a, I mean, like I said, we're I don't know it, enough. We're of, sending this, so I can't say anything. Noodles, and it's currently at fifty minutes, and Void still hasn't found a skin. Void, what are you looking for, buddy? Void. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I got it. My okay, bad. thank God. What is it? Right here, where it states in the data book that Naruto, say six pack Naruto, all of his abilities are has gotten even stronger whenever he became six pounds. Holy! Therefore, fuck. even his sense, that is crazy therefore even his, because what I claimed had nothing to fucking do with that. All right, so I was, I was like, nice guy, Spencer. Now I'm done with that. All right. That data book statement saying that Naruto gets stronger whenever he has Sage of Six Pass Chakra means fucking nothing. Because I asked you All his you abilities got stronger. No, no, I asked you to prove that the difference in one Sage of Six Pass user's abilities and another Sage of Six Pass user's abilities differed, right? That there was a difference in the potency of those abilities based on the amount of chakra that they had, specifically the sensory capabilities that they have. So I'm going to ask you to yes, prove, his, right? Well, no, his, I'm going to ask okay, you to prove listen. or demonstrate that between Madara, Kaguya, and Naruto, there is a difference in their ability to sense based on the amount of Jubi chakra that they have. Go. We're differentiating between all three of them versus Jigen. Uh, okay. Prove between the three of them or Jigen. I don't care. Prove it, right? Because all you have is some dumbass statement, right? That you didn't even post. Saying that Naruto, his his abilities got stronger ever since he did so much, right? That doesn't even help you. What? That just means that Sage of Six Paths Naruto is above fucking QB Sage Naruto. Which what? we know. No, his... Oh his, ever, all of his abilities got stronger, including his sensory ability. Yes, so his sage mode ability went from regular sage mode level to six pass sage mode level. I don't think you understand that this statement only applies in reference to Sage of Six Pass Naruto versus any Naruto that was previous, right? So it doesn't apply within itself. It doesn't say one Sage of Six Pass Naruto is stronger or has better abilities or better sensory than another Sage of Six Pass Naruto. Which is what you would have needed it to say. <laughs> so once again, I'm going to ask you to prove that there is a difference in sensory capability between Six Path Sage Mode users dependent on the amount of Jubi Chakra with which they have. Sage of Six Path Sage Mode and Sage Mode are two, two different things. You absolutely say they're both that's not what I'm saying. I'm asking you to prove that Madara... You just compared, no, you just compared I, him to KCM oh Naruto. You're, okay, listen closely. I'm going to say it slowly one last time, right? I am asking you to prove that there is a difference in sensory capability based on the amount of Jubi Chakra intaken. 
or the strength of the juby with which they have intaken. I said that your statement is irrelevant because it only means that Sage of Six Paz Naruto has therefore better sensory capabilities than QB Sage Mode Naruto because it says that his abilities are better than they were before. Do you understand it now or do I need to spurg out on you again? I pray to God that you've been listening. Void. Void. Are you there? Am I like just got one shot? Can, can anybody <laughs> no. hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear. Thank you. You just got one shot. Holy fuck. Why is he taking so long to respond? I mean, at the pace with which this is going, I should have text debated him. Void, are you present? Looks like void for them to avoid. <laughs> yeah, he fucking left call. Oh, you were yelling at him. Probably hurt his feelings. Yeah, I did call him an ape. Oh, he's back. Void, are you there? Void, are you there? Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. What happened? You cut out for a minute. You lagged. You lagged out. You literally lagged out of car. Ah, shit. My All bad. Right. <laughs> I will repeat myself one more time. Wait, where did you? Where did you stop hearing me? I have no idea. Okay. You were like saying like you, thing. and then just cut out. <clears throat> so, the claim that you made, and what I'm asking you to prove. And I, I need you to listen. Are you hearing me? Can you hear this? Yeah, I can hear you. The claim with which you made and that which I'm asking you to prove is that there is a difference in the sensory capabilities of six path sage mode users, like among them, right? Based on the amount of Juby chakra with which they have or the potency of, or I'm sorry, the, the strength of the Juby with which they have garnered their chakra, right? So, I said that the, the statement that you have brought up, right? He has gotten stronger in those abilities since garnering this ability, right? So, the difference is that between KCM2 Naruto and Six Path Sage Naruto because, and this is why the statement does not apply, because you are not fulfilling what I have set forth, which is that there must be a difference between two users in order for you to say that his sensory capabilities are not on par with others due to the fact that he has a less complete Juby. So I'm asking you to substantiate that claim, right? Did you hear that void? Yeah, yeah, I understand now. Okay. Yeah, so I, you, I can you see under that point, my bad. Okay, so then he can point. see each and every Limbo clone. He can sense them. He can't see them. He can sense them. It That's what you're saying, right? Okay, you're aware that Six Path Sage Mode and Sage Mode users have the ability to literally see with their extrasensory capability, correct? Naruto literally saw the entire war. Okay, but he's... Naruto sensed no, the... No, I know. Locals. I he understand the idea that sensory is not the same as sight, right? But it is effectively 
the same thing in this context due to the strength with which they can sense these things. Do you understand that? Due to the strength that they can see these things? Okay. Jigen would see or sense the Limbo clones just as well as Naruto. Do you get that? That is what yeah, happened. I, okay. Yeah. So then Jigen would speed blitz and wrap himself around or get through each and every Limbo clone without any sort of trouble because he is demonstrably stronger. You've, you, this is, these are things you've conceded to. You have lost the debate. Am I lagged out? You lagged no. out? No. No, I didn't lag out. You might have lagged out. I was saying you have lost the debate. It is over. And I will explain as to why, right? You've already conceded that Jigen is demonstrably stronger than Madara, right? The only thing when that you we, had... When wait, we, wait, 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 we, wait. Hold on, whoa. When do we sit there and discuss that Jigen is stronger than Madara? Uh, demonstrably faster. I'm sorry. Wouldn't matter. Okay. Right? So he's demonstrably faster than Madara. We've already discussed, right, that Madara is it has the it does not have the ability to hide behind his limbo clones correct uh, like jigen would be able to sense them just as well as naruto did and could thus get around them right you i asked you to and you could not substantiate that madara can swap with his limbo clones between dimensions right that was what was important so therefore jigen goes up to madara speed blitzes him and puts him in another dimension and he walks away that's the entire fight. These are all points that you've either conceded by your own admission or conceded due to failure to provide evidence. So there's no more debate to be had and you have lost. So do you concede the debate? I've already said as to why you lose. So do you concede? Okay. Backtrack to the point where you're talking about he's going to get around Limbo. If they're surrounding Mater, he's not getting around them. Okay, he would put them all in a dimension. It wouldn't matter. Can you show where he opened multiple portals? He wouldn't have to. He has the ability to open a portal sizable enough that Madara and four of his Limbo clones, if they are all back to back to back to back to back, would be easily, like, just dropped under, right? And it wouldn't matter because he's so much he's so much faster. He has flight. No, he's not he, just he's gonna so much drop, faster. He's not no, just no. gonna drop. He's so much faster it. that he'd get all four of them. It wouldn't matter. Or all five. And Jigen could just kick them all, right? He could just open one portal, fucking bully them in. Madara is a snail. Jigen is a cat. He could just bat his paw at Madara, right? Madara would just fly okay, into the portal. Okay, you said that you said that he stood there and he made a portal. He will make a portal that will drop Madara. No, that's not what Madara I'm saying. Has flight. I'm, uh, that's not what I said. You're so great at straw manning. That's, that's literally. Right, that's literally. Listen that's literally very closely, Void. Right. Jigen opens a portal. Right. Doesn't matter where the portal is. Just next to Madara. He then goes and he kicks all five of them through the portal. Right. And then he walks away. Because he is BFR'd Madara, and the fight is over. Okay, you do know that the Limo clones do not affect Madara. Oh my god. You do know that the Limo clones do not get in contact with Madara. Like, if he kicks a, a Limbo clone, he's not. the Limo clone's not going to knock Madara into the uh, portal. No, I I'm saying he kicks all four of them individually. He's so much demonstrably faster that it wouldn't matter. He could kick all four of them individually. or All, all four of the Limbo clones and then Madara. It wouldn't matter. The difference in speed is astronomical to the point where it could never be made up. Madara would not be able to see, sense, or even think before Jigen killed him with this tactic. Or not killed. It doesn't matter. BFR'd him with this tactic. I don't care to debate strength. It doesn't matter to me. So you have lost the debate. Are we done here? No, we're not done. Okay, what other offense do you have? What's stopping... What's stopping Madara 
from using Chewbacca Tensei. He wouldn't or be using Almighty see, Push. He wouldn't be able to see, sense, before that, or perceive before, Jigen. Before no, Jigen, he wouldn't be able to see, sense, or perceive Jigen. Jigen is demonstrably stronger, and you've already conceded G, this fact. As, he would get Jigen speed blitzed. As Jigen no. is already hitting he would get the speed Moderate time to sit there I will move. repeat it again and again. Totally. I have already told you time and time <laughs> again why Jigen would if be he's... demonstrably stronger and or demonstrably faster than Smodera. There is no reason for you to ever bring this point up. He gets speed blitzed. Just like Sakura was able to like speed blitz Shin. He speed blitzes Jigen or Madara. It wouldn't matter. So are we done here? Do you have any other offense that is relevant that you have not already conceded? You're, what you're not understanding is that he has to sit there and go through the limbo clones. That's what you're not understanding. He has. You're acting like okay. these. You're acting like okay. these limbo clones are like fodder. Okay, the limbo clones would be just as slow as Madara, right? So Jigen would just he would give one sweeping roundhouse kick, right, and just kick them all through the portal, and he'd say bye bye. <laughs> the limbo clones are not they don't just stand in one line they're surrounding Madara yes they're surrounding Madara right Jigen, w Jigen so would have to go Jigen would give one good roundhouse kick and sweep all of them and it'd be game it'd be GG he'd then take off his shoes and he'd sweep, say nice place nigga them? just like he did to Naruto okay do you understand what what a roundhouse kick is yes I understand what a roundhouse okay, kick is so you tilt up onto one leg right and then you fully extend your other leg and you just kick everything in sight. He does that to Modder and his limbo clones. They're so round massive him. kick. Yep. You're, you're not, yeah. that's he what gets, you're not he understanding. He gets one massive kick. It doesn't matter. That's Holy only fuck. taking out one limbo clone. No, it's not. It's taking out multiple. Or, I don't, if he's I don't surrounding them, how no, is he, he going to... Jigen gets incredibly small, right? He gets right between the limbo clones and then he kicks the one true Modder into a portal and closes it. Bye. We're done here. Moder, <laughs> you have no the limbo offense clone left will to see that Moder is no. going to... All right. P wait, the limbo clone will see what? See what? We'll see Mo we'll see Jigen as he shrinks. Okay. Can you prove that Moder would have the ability to see Jigen since you've claimed that he does? Yes, I, yes, I can. As Sasuke saw Jigen can you show me? with only a Sharingan. Can you show me that Sasuke has seen Jigen? And you, can you show me that it was only with a Sharingan, please? Yes, I can. Uh, yes, I can. Here's the scan that Sasuke can see Jigen. Can you prove it's with a Sharingan? Yes, he's only using, he's only using a Sharingan. What he's only fuck? using a Sharingan. You're, okay. You are. You. Oh my god. Okay, can you show me where any, where in that scan, does he, Using his uh, Renegon to sit there and seek Jigen. Okay. You understand that Sasuke's Renegon is always active, correct? No, he turns it off every now and then. Can you show me that? Because I, I show posted, you when his Renegon is off scan earlier, right? Or whenever he's not using it? Yeah. Can you show me that he has the ability to turn it off, please? Because that's what you had claimed. Actually, you know what? It doesn't fucking matter. I'll steal menu, right? I'll say Jigen, or I'll say Madara would have the ability to see Jigen. It doesn't even matter. Jigen still speed blitzes him to the point where he wouldn't see anyways. Jigen is moving so fast, Madara can't see or sense him. He would only be able to see Tiny Jigen whenever Tiny Jigen isn't moving, which wouldn't happen. So it still wouldn't matter. Concede. You're literally wasting my time. Void. Hello? Concede. You are wasting my time. I've steel manned the point and it's still gone. Right? You said that you said a monitor will yeah, only be I able said, to see tiny no, no. Jigen? Yeah, I, I said sure. Moderate is able to see Jigen when he's not moving and he, if he's still tiny, right? He's still way too fast for him to ever be able to catch up with. Concede the point. You are continuing the to limbo waste clones my time. are right. The limbo clones will then be he right there. He is too fast for them to see. 
He is too fast for G for Madara to ever see. Anytime he is moving, Madara doesn't understand what the fuck is going on. He'll know that he's in danger. Yeah, he'll know that and he's he'll be in aware danger. of it. It would be too late. He gets kicked one time into a portal and he's done. I've told you this multiple times, right? You are continuously wasting my time by refusing to concede. No, you're just making you're making out Madara's abilities. All right, or why don't any you give, of his attacks? Why don't you just give like your closing statement, water. right? Because I refuse to continue this debate. Give your closing statement. I'll give mine. I'll send the shit to Noodles, and then he can laugh at you too. You said that you you're failing to to continue the debate. No, I said give your closing statement, and I'll give mine because I don't want this to continue. Go ahead and give your closing statement then. Uh, okay. Jigen speed blitzes, kicks Modder into a portal, or as I've said before, just sucks Modder's chakra out. It doesn't matter, right? But he's so fast that Modder will never be able to perceive him, right? I've said that multiple times to which my opponent had no contention. Therefore, no matter what happens, right, Modder will never, and I do mean ever, have any way to harm Jigen in any meaningful way. So therefore, Jigen just absolutely rapes, all right? Give me your closing statement, Void. Summarize the arguments that you've made. Because you've made no arguments on your own front. The only ability that you have is Limbo, if you haven't noticed. Okay, for my closing statement. Madara will use Limbo. as they, The Limbo clones are surrounding him. There's no way that Jigen is getting around or past the Limbo clones without... Madara being aware that he's attacking the limbo. <coughs> Madara. Huh? No, I, I was asking if that was it. I'm sorry. Continue. Oh. When Whenever Jigen is attacking the limbos, Madara will be aware that Jigen is trying to attack him and he will evade his attacks, either by flight or... Or he can still use Almighty Push or Chewbacca Tensei. Okay, so you're bringing up new points in your conclusion. Got it. What? I I, I literally said Almighty Push in earlier. Uh, okay. And you just blew past it. Okay. So, never mind, right? Is that it? Is that all you have, Void? Yeah, Are that's... Done here? Therefore... Okay, hold on. So therefore, since Jigen is not going to get past the Limbo clones... There's no way that he's going to sit there and even harm Madara. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all you have? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for wasting